Hello there. Welcome to the Pit of Tangents. We're gonna pick up from we left off with Outer Wilds. In the last video, we... Um... So we're an astronaut. We... Uh... We're an alien species. Well, alien, at least compared to humans, I guess. And, uh... We were supposed to explore the solar system, uncover its secrets. One of the main mysteries is about the Nomais. Uh, I think it's that's what they're called. Um... Where, um... They're basically the an old species that went extinct for some reason, and somehow when we stared at one of the statues, they, I don't know, they shine some light on us, and then we started seeing everything in the past that we've done throughout the first loop, which we'll get to in a bit, and then we venture into the giant's deep, which is a planet, a giant planet, giant steep, <laughs> um, which is mainly water. And then there is this weird guy there who apparently experienced the same thing as we did, staring to the statue, seeing all of his life passing through him, which begs the question, are we actually like, um, how come we've only seen like, uh, like not from the memories from when we were born, but, and the whole training process, but only when the game starts, huh? That is curious. Is, is there like a limit? Like I'm, I'm, I'm wondering like if now, say, if we resume exp expedition, because like yeah, there, there's another thing. We're in the time loop apparently, which is surprising to me. I did not expect that this is going to be a time loop based game. I don't expect that to be the mechanic. I guess if we were to look at the statue again, are we going to see it all the way from the beginning and we explore all the way to the giant's deep, or is it just going to be for this? specific time. I'm, anyway, I'm rambling. Too many things to answer, but let's resume expedition. It's loading again. And as always, the music is spectacular. Also, another thing that I noticed is that in the last video... <gasps> yeah. In the last video, we, uh... I don't know why, but the the mic is too loud? No, he's peeking. I think that's the... I can doze off, apparently. Hi. Can we talk about the fact that it's loop? Did I... Did I just die? <laughs> Whoa, bad dream or something? I forgot the voice. Oh. So look half asleep. That's a negative on being deceased. You know what? I'm, I think I'm gonna give up on the voices. Uh, I just, I'm just terrible at it. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you a little bit jumpy. Mm hmm Not having second thoughts, are you? Uh, so we can't pursue that topic, apparently. Okay. How's the ship looking? Great, hey, you might want to get a kick out of this. I've repurposed the spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion. Um, uh, that doesn't sound... Okay. Spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. What? What does that do? Yes. Well, it's all very conceptual. It's basically it's like taking a regular second stage booster and strapping a bigger rocket onto it. Uh-huh. And in what situation would I require such a thing? Alright. So we're getting the the manuals again. So like jump over there in the corner. Hi, Micah. Hey, it's you. So they're repeating the same line. Hmm. Let's try different dialogues, see what happens. We recal recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters, want to give it a test drive, so it says blah blah. Okay. So, last time we didn't exactly land on the geyser. Careful now. There you go. Uh, hello? Okay. Well, it's gone. Whee! Okay, fuck this. I don't care. 
talk. Well, it doesn't look like a time. Blah blah blah. You'll you'll be okay. All right. I just want to get all the way. No, let's try talking. I don't think there will be any difference. Hello, Ashling. Yeah, it is the same thing. All right. I think I'm just gonna skip all the way. Oh, wait, we're playing. Sorry. Uh, I was just clicking randomly. Equip signal scope. Oh, wait. Interesting. Okay. So I guess it's that way. So apparently we could actually play with the child. Oh shit. Did I just fall down? Okay, never mind. Hello, little guy. I see you. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's not do that again. Let's be more careful. Hello. He found me, but my hearing was already don't forget. Da, da, da. Okay, where's the other one? Hello, Galina. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Sure. Okay. Let's head straight to the observatory. Sorry, again, minor um, interruption. Skip. Wait, what is this? I don't think I've been here. Huh. Scout launcher? Okay. Oh, we can look at over there. Oh, okay. RB. Retrieve scout. Is that what I'm doing? Is that the right? No, that's the right trigger. Okay, there we go. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Didn't know we have that. Wee! Ow. Okay, we're here again. Sorry. Like, I probably didn't mention this, but the reason that I wanted, wanted to skip is because. Because like all the dialogues are the same. But that being said, how come there are two people here? I thought there were supposed to be only him. Well, them, sorry. Hornfels? Hornfels is here. Okay. Hornfels is the one that gave us the launch code. That's interesting. Okay. Let's talk to Hornfels first. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. I bet you wish you'd seen that happen. Huh. Uh, me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Was there something you needed? Tell me more about Feldspar. Where are the other travelers? What's Feldspar again? Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Kusan, Slate the Engineer, and me. I see. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Felspar as closely as Slate and Gusan did. I can tell you, I can tell you, Felspar was absolutely fearless though. Nothing scares them. Tess piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Felspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Felspar went, or even whether they're still alive, you see. It's been a long time since they left. Was there something you needed? Where are the other travelers? Jared is on the Hourglass Twins. Ryback is on Brill Hollow. And Gabro is on Giant's Deep. Okay. And there's Felspar, obviously. But of course, we don't know where they are or if they are even still alive. Felspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Okay. Take care. So you're open now. During the first loop, they are still close. Hey, Hal. 
Hey, I was just about to come to find you. Look, look, look. You gotta see doesn't know my statue's eyes are open. They uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And now they've opened. We're not sure why why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabra or maybe Raya back? Oh, stars, this is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Hmm. I got my eye on you. <laughs> Should be the same, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, I do need my launch coats, though. Aren't you supposed to be giving me up here? Giving me that up here? Or is that a different person? Yeah, it is. It is them. Do we... What? Okay, that's odd. What is this? This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving far away... Moving away from us. Okay. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. Uh-huh. Doesn't that mean that we are all also moving? It's almost as if the entire universe is, is expanding. I think that's one of the theories. If that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Ooh, riveting stuff there. So I guess first I, w I should probably go... So I'm assuming we still have the launch codes. Maybe that's why. But that does raise the question... Do they know about the loop? Is it like a normal thing? Huh. Ah! Fuck. Oh no. Okay, as I was saying, um, it is odd that they... they're not giving me launch code. And they seem to be the only ones that are in different location compared to the first loop. Interesting. I wonder how that would affect things. Wee. Hi. Oh. Wait. Where are the launch codes again? Right. They haven't told me where the launch codes are. Ornfels. Can I get... The launch codes. Wait, look at the corner. Does that mean that I already have the launch codes? Okay, if that's the case, I'm gonna be mighty mad. Launch tower. What's my mission? Hey, you're the pilot. You're telling me, aren't you? The pilot title of the eager, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Riddle Hollow or just the other side of Timber Hearth. It's just all the same to me. Get out and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship. We can get to the other side of the planet. Interesting. So we already have the launch codes. We didn't have to do that. Okay. That's a bit annoying, but sure. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go back to um, that place again. Giant Steep. Wait, what? Uh, retrieve. Can I retrieve my... Okay. Let's go... How far up are we? Whoa, okay. The music is a bit different. That should be Giant's Deep, I think. Let's go. You might be going a bit too fast. Ah! Okay, we, we actually run past it somehow. Whoa, shit. Into the heart of the cyclone. Damn, it's so cool though. The music is different as well, so that's interesting. Uh, sequel scope. Let's try to find that other guy. Forgot his name.
Where is he? There you go. Damn, they're a bit far. That's Gabra. All right. Let's go up. What is happening? Excuse me? All right, these are the things that we did literally just now. Yeah, we went back and forth. I'm sorry about that. I must have. I will cut it into editing, but. We have a limited time, and that's giant steep. Hi. You know the ship is a death. You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have your grounded map from Louisa because I have no idea what you're talking about. Good one. But a really powerful death trap, really. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Do I have launch codes? Yes. So, let's go straight to Giant Steep. No wait, wrong planet. Where are you? Man, even this is really peaceful. So beautiful. Okay, there you are. Lining flight trajectory. Okay. What the fuck? Did we just die? <laughs> okay, so he's rewinding. Okay, so it only goes through the last loop that we were in. The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. <laughs> I don't make <think> <laughs> Sun is in between you and your destination. Well, thank you. Thank you for the tip. So if you die, then things just get repeated. That's when the loop ends. I'm assuming, that is. I'm coming to you, Gabro. We're gonna ask some questions. Specifically about the loop. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Oh my god. Ah! Okay, let's go up. Okay, starting to get the hang of the controls. Kind of. Gabro. Wait, is that Gabro's ship? What is this? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna talk to Gabro first. I think it is within our interests. Okay, let's go to Gabro. Oh shit. Don't think it's possible. Oh no. Let's go. Oh, not to the hurricane! Okay, that's Gabro, I think. Oh, thank God. You, do you have any idea what I went through? Wait, where's... Where's Gabro? You see up there? Motherfucker. Okay. Unbuckle. Why I oughta... <laughs> oh no. Whoops. 
All right. All right. Okay. Wait. <gasps> okay. Skip to the moment that I get to Gabro. Okay. Uh, I'm really close to the Giant's Deep. Overshot it a bit. But somehow, suddenly, the song starts playing and there's an achievement. Harmonic Convergence. What the fuck? Okay. What the hell happened just now, though? Alright, sorry. Fast forward again. Okay. So my ship is damaged. I need to repair it real quickly. Let me suit up. Okay, let's go back up again. Turn the suit. Buckle up. Cool. Signal scope. Where are you, Gabro? There! That, that's exactly it! Oh, okay. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but I need to find Gabro. Okay, 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 okay. Slowly now, slowly. Okay. Uh, we're here, finally. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> We're underwater. We're fine. Okay. Gabro moved away. Okay. I think. Yeah, he wasn't here before. Oh, he was. Sorry. There you were. Oh. Hi. I was hoping you'd be back. Something really weird is going on. Yep. <laughs> We're definitely in a time loop. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Well, fuck you, camera. You're taking this pretty well. What did you think it was? I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business. But I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to the shape of time, you know. But a loop makes sense here. Let's go with loop for now. So it's like you and I are the only ones who know we're in a time loop. And even if you tell them about it, no one remembers by the next loop. What's with that, okay? Maybe it's because we both made some seriously intense eye contact with the Nomai statue. I'm seeing my memories replace how I die, just like I did when the Nomai statue on the beach opened its eyes and looked at me. So maybe no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. Uh-huh. That's pretty obvious, I think. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know. I'll be here. If I found something. Okay. Nice, nice. What you got? Actually, never mind. No. All right. <laughs> you know where to find me. What are you doing out here? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, but you're just chilling. You're doing almost nothing. It's usually quite a peaceful... Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, I found your ship. Right. Oh, cool. So it's floating in the ocean. Did it look like it's having a good time? <laughs> Okay, how about this? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to the statue island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing it as the... Uh, get it? I was on the beach on statue island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid... Gabriel relaxation scale. Whatever, man. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, is the 
It's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arc. Well, mostly connected anyway, you'll see. Alright. See you later. Take it easy. What is this? This this looks new. Jesus. Vital slow. Mm -hmm. What, what, what the hell is ghost matter, anyway? Okay. Let's get to the ship and heal ourselves. Uh, that hurts. Ow. Okay, cool. So where should we go? Should we keep exploring this giant steep or do we want to follow the music? Let's finish one planet at a time. Be systematic. So we need to find a planet with a statue. Yeah. Oh, shit. Whoa. All right. Whoa. All right. It's connected by a rock arc. It's this one, right? Should be. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay. Whoa. A lot of funky things are going on on this particular rock formation. I'm just gonna land here. Okay. Unbuckle. Let's suit up and repair the ship real quickly. Are we on water? No, I didn't think so. So, cockpit. Is there something about the hull that needs to be repaired? No? Okay. Can we walk? Okay. No. Can we jump up? Um. Oh, shit. Sure. Hmm. Not sure if this is a good idea, but I suppose we'll see. This this looks pretty cool, by the way. Like, what are these? Got fossils. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna drown. Okay. Let's be careful. You know. You don't want to die. I think I want to go back to the ship. Yep. Oh no. I'm getting anxiety. <sighs> ah. I need to go there. Okay. 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 Back to the ship. Back to the ship. Okay. Okay. Turn and suit. Let's lift off again. Getting a sneaking suspicion that this might not be the the place that G Gabriel was talking about. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. We're zooming. Okay. So it says that there are still places that needs to be repaired, but where? Hmm. Okay, refuel. Oh shit, oh shit, we need, we need, no, 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 back to the island, uh, back to the ship. We're good, we're good. That's spooky. 
Can't look at the map. Oh, okay. Hmm. Are we okay? Never mind. There you are. Alright, repair the ship. Nice. Okay. No, I don't think we've been here before. Oh, this is the arch, right. Okay, let's find the thing. So... Wait, art. Cool. Um... Statue workshop. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, okay. All right. No. Okay, let's walk sideways again. This is really, really weird, but okay. This is how the Nomai travel around back then. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so can't come. Oh, there's a lot of branch here. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't... Maybe Flock will let us uh, see a later test. Okay. Interesting. So, how do we get down there? Hmm. Whee! Okay. Cool. What is this? Looks like an altar. Okay. Trees detected. Okay, oxygen refill. Refill. That's good. Hmm. Weird architecture. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Okay. What are these things? This is what I want to know. Hmm. So I guess the main question is how to get down to the workshop. That's the main objective at the moment. It is fascinating that it's almost like this is a civilization who has to basically coexist with the tornadoes on a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh shit. No. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, what's happening? Where am I? How do I get out of here? Help. Help. Oh no. 
Well, we're flying, guys. We're flying. Uh, we're going back. We. Okay. <laughs> we're back in it. Okay. Awesome. And then we're really far away from the ship. Let's see if I can survive this. Skip. Okay, we're back. Quite a journey as well. But okay, let's see if we can find our way back to the thing again. To where the workshop is. Alright, we're back. It would have been nice if our friend, Darbro, Gab Gabro, would actually tell us how to get to the workshop. Or at least to where the statue is. That would be nice. Why are you telling me to launch the scout here? Okay. Interesting. Are we supposed to figure out like how to get down here? I think that looks like a hole to get in from. There's a cavern path there. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to go down? Ow. Whoa. Um. Okay, maybe we need to get to the ship again and then try to find a way to go down. Whoa. Go back to the ship, go back to the ship, go back to the ship. What is happening? Refuel. Return. Ooh. Do you fly too close to the sun or something? Okay, that's a pretty long loop, though. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, that's the sparkling thing that Gabriel mentioned. Oh, that looked like the ship in the... Oh. 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 Damn. Okay. We need to find that, maybe. I think. Alright, so what have we learned so far? So there's still the statue thing that we need to find in a workshop. And then Gabra mentioned about that ship, I think. The one that exploded. Because he, they were looking up as well in Giant's Deep, which happens to be right in front of us. So it makes sense why we both saw the same thing every time the loop started. But then but then that raises the question, how come we both die at the same time eventually, you know? What cataclysmic events happened? Okay, so we try to find a workshop, right? So I guess we need to fly under the ocean. Beneath the surface level to find the entrance to go there. And... This is the... Oh... This is the piece of the ship. There's a landing pad as well. Okay, okay, okay. 
Hang on. Hang on a minute. We're gonna do some maneuvering. Okay, okay. Okay, we need to turn around somehow. How do we do that? How does one do that? No! Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Where, where did it go? Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, these things, you know, they, they move really fast. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, don't worry. Ah, come on! No, how do you land? We just bum rush it. <laughs> okay. That works. Huzzah! <laughs> awesome. Okay. We're fine. No, don't get him. Okay, okay, okay. Our first time out in space. So, what is up with this place then? Let's land. Okay, let's use our fuel carefully. This ship is really cool. Is there a way to get inside though? Okay, maybe it's through this way. Careful. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, we made it. We made it, guys. We made it. Wow. Let's land. Translate. Control module. This is really cool. This is really cool. Okay, let's slowly, slowly get in, get in there. Okay. Control module. An orb. And what does one do with this orb? <laughs> um so roll why is it telling me to roll hold oh 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 shit what's happening what's happening trees why are there trees Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna land. What is this place? Hmm. Pick up launch module projection stone. And I know this how? What is that? Oh, whoa. Uh, excuse me? Whoa. What? 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 
What is? Uh huh. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Receiving data from probe. Warning: Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Uh huh. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, I totally get what you're saying. Okay. That was really cool. Well, that red. Well, I guess that's the sun. Okay. No. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. What is happening? Okay. Ball. That doesn't look broken. Okay, never mind. It does. Go on, ball. Follow me. What is this one then? Okay. Damage report: se severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Intact, no structural damage. Viewpoint window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Uh huh. Well, let's drop this thing then to where it's supposed to, which I imagine is here. Mallow, my better 50%. Okay, sure. Kasafa is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, you'll know the eye's precise location. The eye. Kasafa tells me he and the construction yard, so they acknowledge he and she. Crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go. Kasafa tells me. He and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. Cool. <clears throat> ah, wait, what is this one then? The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature. My love. <laughs> okay, sure. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? Oh no, what did you do? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe can and all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. That doesn't sound good. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustment. Uh-huh. Giant Steep Projection Stone. I'm just gonna follow this, assuming that we're gonna end up in a loop anyway, which means that, you know, whatever happens, whatever will be, will be. Wait. Oh, I thought we were crashing into the thing. Because the music just went all silent out of nowhere. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, we're running out of fuel. That is very concerning. But something tells me that we're going to die at the end of this, whatever this is. Okay, let's translate this. Severe, la la la. Oh. Viewpoint window fractured. Entire missing. Pro tracking module missing. Is it this one by any chance? So we can control it from here. Okay.
Oh, okay. This is different. Can I push them? Fuel level critical. Oh, shit. Uh, what do I do? I don't think I can meaningfully, you know, explore this place without fuel. I'll be right back. Into the vacuum of space we go. Ow. Fuel depleted. Using oxygen as propellant. Wait, fuck. We're stuck. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die here? Oh no. I don't wanna die here. We're burning through our oxygen. How do I get out? Oh no. I think we are going to die. Cutting it close. See if an unlock, sure. But then we're dead. Oh, oxygen re refilled. Okay, cool. Okay, that's the way. Let's go. Come on. Shit. Slowly. Steady. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Get in. Please, get in. Fuck. I can't get out. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> well. <sighs> oh well. That's really fascinating though. And that's exactly it. The spaceship that we saw. Alright, um... We're gonna teleport back. Yeah, teleport back. But I'll be right back, okay? Teleport back and see if we can solve the puzzle. Question mark. Okay. Hi. Right, we're here. Uh, I actually managed to land on this thing. So I guess the key is to actually match the velocity. That would actually help. Cool. Open hatch. Uh, right. So, I do hope that the module thing is not on the other part of the ship. That would be very annoying. Whoa. Okay. Let's actually be very conservative with our fuel. Let's take it slow. Where are we supposed to go again? We need to enter one of these things, right? One of the... Always that happens to be breached. The design is very cool, I have to say. Oh, it's this one, right? No, wait, no, this is the main thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't get pulled by the gravity. No. We're burning fuel. 
Shit, 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 shit. No. Great, now we need to find out how to to land on our ship again. Ah! Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Ooh. Nice. What? We could just go down. But I want to go up. Go back to my ship. Please. Please. Let me. Okay. 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 Let me refuel. Refuel. What happens if we go down? Okay, let's go down. Uh-huh. Apparently this is a way more convenient way of going. I have no idea how we control that. Holy shit. Oh, that would have been very helpful. Kablamo. Cool, we're back. Nice. Let's go. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Try the first one. Yeah, what does that give us? Nothing to translate, though. That's interesting. Oh, it takes a while before we can translate anything. Okay. 8 minutes 42 seconds ago, request to launch probe receive from Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory gravity field activated. Interesting. Okay. So I guess this is where we get the information that... Oh, so they fired the thing. But then it got broken. Structure compromise. Right. Dash multiple. Pro tracking module is receiving data. Begin launch. So the probe is successful. What is this thing? Severe structural stress. In control module intact. This is the this is the control module. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Window exposed. Pro tracking module is missing. So I guess that's the the other mystery that we need to solve. It's where the tracking module is. Interesting. Okay. All right, I think that leaves us with the next mystery to find, which is the tracking module, right? Okay, I might actually end it here because we've been recording for quite some time now. We, this is very complex. We still haven't solved the workshop thing yet. So another thing that, um, so that's the Ash Twin project. So we need to go to the Ash place to find the probe tracking module i suppose and that's one and the second thing is the workshop that's what we need to find out fascinating stuff though we still don't know much about the whole time loop thing but i guess we'll find out as we go along the music is very intense like oh my god this is eureka moment this is epic moment so i guess there's nothing that's supposed to happen here this, this is like we're just gathering information so yeah Fun stuff. Okay. That's all for me for now. Like and subscribe. All that stuff. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm loving this so far. Uh, yeah. I'm really curious where this is going to go. Because we have still have a lot of planets to explore. I think it's kind of linear, I guess, in a way. But that's fine. And that's totally fine. Well, not exactly. There are, like, random paths that you could take. Because I could have stick with the workshop thing. 
But oh well. Okay. Again, that is all for me for now. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.